Suspended Google business profile is a big issue for our business and I have a solution for you in this video. Yes guys, GBGM has brought a Google suspension removal tool in its app, GBPGM app which you all know and this will help you audit your complete profile, find the issues so that you can resolve it and give you suggestions and finally submit an appeal from the tool itself for suspension removal and once it's reinstated it will tell you about the reinstated profile when you check inside the app so i will tell you how to operate this tool step by step and also try to cover all the use cases because for suspension there can be many reasons there can be multiple reasons based on google business profile policies so whatever is maximum possible for me to show you different different use cases on different different suspended profiles i'll try in this video guys so i'll take you to my computer screen and share the complete step by step process to use this suspension removal tool of gbp gm app so let's begin. So guys, as you can see on my screen, this is a Google business profile which is suspended and it's visible on Google's own platform. Now this is our app tools.localseotoolsandtips.com and you can use this app in mobile also guys. And this is the profile I have added in this tool. I will not discuss how to add this. You have to just do auth and add this profile in your app. Now you can see this profile is suspended we'll go to tools and suspension removal tools simple this is a tool guys and it's showing it's suspended guys and you will click on start audit once you click on start audit you'll see auditing your profile requires thousand tokens uh, are you willing to proceed it will ask you guys because you will need thousand tokens if you are already a subscriber and you have tokens in your account then it will be directed from there as you have to purchase those thousand tokens now as we proceed it's showing a violation in the name because in name you should not have any kind of delimiters or use special cases it should be the exact registered name of your business so you can edit it from here now it says it's perfect and then you can move to next but i'll just show you by refreshing it whether it shows the same thing or not yes it's the uh, same thing but you have to take care guys it should be the same name as in your documents now address and opening hours should be proper guys that you have to check if opening hours are not there or address is having some issue here it will give you an option and you can edit it from here now you will move next it will uh, ask you to check the contact number it's good or not service areas are proper or not and contact number should not be repeated then comes the business description and website guys here is showing that you uh, uh, you can create a Google business profile website if you don't have and if you have then it's not an issue guys and description should also be proper if you don't have the description I'll show you some other profile guys we'll start from the same process again and it will is because this profile is having a website so I'll show you what it says in this website part of this uh, particular profile business name is okay again address and opening hours again contact numbers and service area it's okay now guys as you can see it's saying the website schema markup is not correct please correct you can contact your developer or watch this video tutorial and a complete code is provided here you don't have to do anything just to copy and provide this code to your developer or guys you can actually use it by yourself and this way you can move and you reach to the last appeal section and you can appeal it guys and it's like this guys it will show you uh, that uh, you have already appealed like I have already appealed for this profile and so it's showing submitted here guys similarly I'll show you one more profile again you need thousand tokens you can proceed steps are simple but I'll try to share more and more use cases with different different profiles guys here again there is violation in the name as you can see it's having special characters which is not allowed you have to remove that and apply guys 
once it's applied it will show whether that name has been edited or not then only it will move to the next point guys here address and opening hours guys again contact number and service area and when we click on next again guys this website is not having a proper schema code and you can watch this video tutorial or contact your developer you can provide this particular code and to your developer or do it by yourself guys and guys once you do this your schema markup it will check it again and if it's okay then only it will proceed to next till it's not okay it will not proceed to next guys so i have edited it uh, so let's see whether it allows me to proceed to next or not asap you edit and add schema marker properly it will allow you to proceed it's allowed me to proceed now in media it's showing me logo of your business not found there you can guys click it and you can actually add the logo logo can be added from the media section on the left hand side as you can see uh, logo of the website is not found and it will show you some other guidelines also that you have to read related to the images you should have in your media section so logo guys you have to create or if you already have a logo then a jpeg file of logo is needed here when you click on media section i'll open it in another tab here there is an identity option and there is logo option there in logo i have just added a logo now i'll just refresh this here is a refresh button and i'll see whether it shows the logo or not once the logo it is added and it checks that the logo is available because it gets all data from google it will remove that particular message you have to take care of uh, media also and guys then citations is very important uh, as it says you can create 20 citations it's already showing few citations and you can actually create these citations from this link when you click on find citation it will show you how many website it can find on which the citations of your business are created now next in is the last option avoid duplicate appeals guys please wait for 20 to 30 days before doing anything once you submit the appeal you need these documents for appeal business profile id for appealing guys so these documents should be in your business name address and the number should be there guys and once the appeal is approved it will show you the profile is in good standing means it's approved and reinstated guys like it's showing here location is in good standing guys so guys we already did for this profile earlier also and uh, like i showed you on um, when you click on appeal section it will show this kind of complete process you have to just select if you have more than one profiles you have to search for that profile on the same email id and like i searched it i'll click it and continue and guys as i have submitted the appeal for this in your case it will ask you to submit an evidence that you have to submit within 60 minutes guys so keep your evidence ready before you submit for that appeal guys one more profile i am showing you guys in this there is an issue of opening hours so you can adjust the opening hours from here i have adjusted all those opening hours and this is done now it's not showing that particular message and the next button is available for you to proceed guys when you click on next it will show a message for contact number and service area then again the website uh, part that we have already discussed then the media part then guys you go to the citation option which is very very important you can find citations and get to know whether any citation is created for your profile or not if not at least create 20 citations guys which you can do from this apps gbpgm app citation manager option once you do so you can click on next and go to the appeal option guys this is the appeal option wait for 20 30 days before reappealing else it will be a problem you get your business profile id here which document to submit you can get here and guys this way you can proceed this is one more profile i am showing you and there you will find another issue guys 
because there can be different different issues all i cannot explain but i'll try to explain you maximum to tell you the power of this particular tool here the business name then address and opening hours then contact number and service area it shows violation guys because in this kind of profile there is no address and it asks you to add an address i have added the address when i move to the next option it gives me a violation of ssl as well as schema schema uh, violation we have already seen in case of ssl violation you have to contact your hosting provider and ask him to implement an ssl if it is not done if they are not providing then you have to switch to a hosting which provides you ssl and there are a lot of good hosting which provide you ssl you can go to infotox tool section and find very good hostings with lot of discounts you can get there and get a uh, ssl web hosting guys in very less cost so it's infotox plus tools you can type on web and go there now guys once it's done it will take you to the media section then local citations it will show the citations which have been created then guys you can appeal so guys this was a suspension tool as i was talking and this is an amazing tool i have tried to share more and more use cases but all cannot be covered because i don't have real suspended profiles for each and every use case but for the most common use cases i have shared it with you still if you have problem in any particular use case when you are traversing along with this particular suspension tool then you can always message on whatsapp and connect to our team they will try to explain you but the thing is you have to resolve that by yourself using this suspension tool if you want suspension related specialized services from our team where there are experts who audit the profile and do all these activities for removal of suspension then you can contact us guys because we take only those particular profiles which are following google policies which can follow google policies guys because without following google policies you can never get a profile reinstated your business should follow all the google policies required for being on google with proper approval and the most important of it is guys you should have a shop or an office with a sign board and the sign board should be visible to the people passing by on the road side and actually guiding that particular person till your office or shop entrance if it's not on the road side so this is the most important requirement and prerequisite once you actually fulfill this prerequisite then you can get a google business profile only few exceptional cases are there of home related services like pest control home cleaning or ac service kind of thing are allowed for without address profile other than that all profile needs proper address location shop office and sign board as well guys i hope this video will help you and your profile will get reinstated fast so i'll be back with some other new feature till then keep watching and keep using our tool gbpgm